Hey all hey, it's me Amber, back again with another week of movie talk. And if you don't know what it already is, check the choppers below, because here we go. Alright, so let's go over the new releases for October 29th through the 31st. Alright, so the new releases... For October 29th through 31st, we have two wide releases and one limited release. Limited release is A Mouthful of Air with um, Amanda Seyfried is in it. And I don't, I saw the trailer but I don't really remember it too well. It looks very interesting. I um, believe it's on a streaming service but I can't remember off the top of my head. But it looks like she's a new mom that's dealing with a post- Part of depression. Um, so I'm really interested in it, but I probably won't see it this weekend. Maybe some lazy Sunday or something, if it's on a streaming service. The two Y releases is Last Night in Soho, which I really want to see, and um, Antlers, which I think I've seen the trailer, but I can't remember, but Carrie Russell's in it. It looks like it's a, a horror movie. I haven't watched the trailer, but Last Night in Soho has got our girl... Um, can't think of her name. Anya Taylor Joy and my boy Matt Smith. And it just looks like a who done it type of murder. And I don't remember what the other girl's name is, but she's trying to figure out like she's having visions or something of this murder. I'm really interested in it. I saw the trailer a few weeks back. So I probably won't be seeing it this weekend or Antlers, but I'm interested in both of them. I actually all three of them, so let me know in the comments below if you can see any of them. So let's go over my predictions for October 22nd through the 24th. So number one, duh, I picked Dune to be number one last weekend. Number two, I chose Halloween Kills because it's Halloween season. Number three, I chose No Time to Die. Number four, I chose Ron, Ron's Gone Wrong. Almost said it wrong again. And at number five, I chose Venom, uh, Let There Be Carnage. So let's see how bad or well I did for this past weekend. Alright, so let's go over the changes for the top 10 for October 22nd through the 24th. We're only saying goodbye to one movie this week, and that is at number 11. After 11 weeks on the charts, our boy Free Guy is saying bye-bye. It previously was at number 8, but since now it's at number 11, on to the remaining top 10. Still got some surprising limited releases making it into the top 10, like our opening limited release from this past weekend, The French Dispatch, made it at number 9, so that's exciting. But moving on to the remaining of the top 10, at number 8 is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It was previously at number 6. And then we have at number 7, The Last Duel, which again is that Matt Damon movie. It was previously at number 5, and then at number 6, we have The Addams Family 2. It was previously at number 4, so that concludes the top 10 and leads us into the top 5 for last weekend. Oh hey, before we get to the top 5, make sure to like and share this video with other movie fans that you know of. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell so you don't miss out on any other videos that I post up, like birthday videos which there should be one coming soon also a bunch of movie trailer reactions so don't forget to subscribe all right let's get back to it all right so let's go over the top five for last weekend which is october 22nd through the 24th coming in at number five for its opening weekend was ron gone wrong making seven million dollars which is not what i predicted <laughs> Coming in at number four was Venom, Let There Be Carnage, making $9 million last weekend. It was previously at number three. So my prediction was those two were flipped, so I got those wrong. Coming in at number three was No Time to Die, making $11 million, and was previously at number two. I told you that it was no time for this movie to die yet. Coming in at number two was Halloween Kills, making $14 million for its second weekend. It was previously obviously at number one, so that only means one thing, right? You know, like everyone else predicted. <laughs> Coming in at number one was Dune, making $40 million for its opening weekend. And I'm, like, color me shocked. I thought it was going to make way more than that, but 
I blame HBO Max because it's available in theaters and on HBO Max so I feel like that might be the reason why its theater earnings aren't as big for its opening weekend. I went to see it. I loved it. Comment down below if you want to discuss it because I have feelings. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet you definitely need to go see it and I highly recommend seeing it as big as you can. Whether that be in theaters or if you rent out a drive-in theater you just need to see it as big as possible. I don't think there's a television screen big enough unless you can project it onto the side of a house to watch this movie and go as fast as you can because it's amazing and you don't want no asshole person at work to spoil anything. Alright so let's go over my predictions for October 29th through the 31st which is Halloween. So starting at number five and working our way up. So at number five, which is very hard for me to say because I'm still sick, there's still congestion, and it's already a tongue twister, but at number five this coming weekend, I'm gonna choose Ron's Gone Wrong. And the main reason for that is because it's the only uh, family-friendly movie in the top 10, really, because I have a feeling Adam's Family 2 is on its way out. So for number five for this coming weekend, I think it's gonna be Ron's Gone Wrong. My pick for number four for this weekend is No Time to Die because again it's still not that time to die. It's 007, it's Daniel Craig's last Bond role so I feel like it'll slowly go down but for right now I think it's going to stay at number four for this coming weekend. At number three I'm going to choose the new movie opening this weekend which is Antlers mainly because it's a horror movie and or at least I think it's a horror movie and we don't really have any horror movies in the top ten right now so. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna land probably in that area of number three. It could go a little bit higher. I know I said there's no horror movies, but of course my blonde roots are showing. I'm not really blonde. But yeah, Halloween Kills, hello? Yeah. <laughs> Halloween Kills, obviously, I'm gonna choose for number two because it's our main Halloween movie right now and our main horror movie. I don't know why I didn't think there was any other ones. Maybe because it's in a it's in a category all on its own. So number three I'm choosing Antlers. It could go higher but I don't think it's going to beat out Halloween Kills which is my choice for number two for this upcoming weekend. And for number one again I think it's going to be Dune even though it didn't make as much as I thought it would but again it is available on HBO Max so that could be why. I still think it's going to be at number one for this weekend and rightfully so because people need to go see it as big as possible. So if you haven't go see it. It's really good. I kind of want to go see it again. <laughs> and just like always, I'll put all my predictions for this coming weekend down in the comments below. So if you want to share yours, just put them down there with mine and we'll discuss them. And see who gets more right next week. I got two wrong, so three right. <laughs> it's better than none. Thank God. I really should do that report card, but who's got time? <laughs> So that's a wrap for this week's movie talk. If you had fun today, make sure to let me know down below. And until next time, tell your mother I said hello. Bye y'all.